Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with another episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 184. We haven't had an episode for quite a long time, about a month, so make sure to go ahead and send in those clips. But let's get right to the number 5 spot, and that's Design Tory on Overdose Quarantine Region in a 1v12 scenario with 50 seconds on the clock. He drops one nade, he gets one kill, he's gonna drop another nade, and he gets a fantastic shoots the RPG, injures the infected, and he's gonna go straight to an unbelievable plus with with that mind, another unbelievable plus, a really fantastic clip to staff the top 5 plays. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we've got Cheerless Edits, and he is going for a bit of a free run on Overdose Quarantine Region in a 1v12. Identical to the number 5 spot actually, but in this clip, as I said before, he's going to be free running. 20 seconds on the clock, he's going to go and jump down, try to go and stir up a bit of action, try to go and stir up the infected a little bit. Runs on the rails, jumps down, goes down the side. Now he's going to go towards the boxes, a little bit of a fakie, a little bit of a juke, goes on the rails, drops down again. And now with about 5 seconds left, he's going to go for a bit of a cheeky manoeuvre. Try to get, try to get all the infected around him with the final, final ending. There are so many in front of him, but in the end, he goes and wins. Even though he did get infected, but he got infected after the timer went and hit zero. Coming in at the bonus spot, we've got Crux, and he's trying to go and do a ninja defuse in a 1v6 scenario. He goes and bounces a smoke grenade off the wall. There are so many enemies on the side, but he's going to go for it. The enemy is distracted by the smoke. are trying to go and find him probably, but he's just going to stick in the defuse, and in the end, he goes and gets it. A 1v6 defuse, a very, very nice clip. Securing the number 3 spot, we have got Astron XD on Oil Rig One Man Army using the L96A1 and the L96A1 Arctic Wolf. And these two weapons, classic, classic quick, quick scoping sniper rifles, and he's going to go and put them to very, very good use. He goes and picks up the double. He goes and gets the ultra with a very long range collateral. Now he's trying to go in pick up the fantastic he does go and get it looking for the unbelievable where is the unbelievable it's right behind him he goes and gets that one as well a very nice unbelievable plus headshot swapping between the sniper rifles he's gonna go and get another one he's gonna try to go and get another one but he gets it on the second shot looking around his mouth is shaking his hands are shaking but in the end he can't go and get any more kills but coming in at the number 2 spot, we've got Ray Ladeer on Snow Valley Elimination using the G36E Valkyrie and he's going to go on a headshot spree. Multi-kill headshot, he's going to get the ultra-kill headshot as well. Trying to go and continue the accolade, but sadly it goes and times out, but it doesn't phase him. He's going to go and start up again. He's already got one headshot, he goes and gets a double, he gets a multi. He's trying to go and pick up the ultra right now, scopes in, snipes that person's head off. Now scoping in again, gets the fantastic, looking for an unbelievable, he goes and gets it as well, but Sadly, the aim punch goes and denies him the unbelievable plus, but a very, very unique and really cool clip. But coming in at the number one spot, the clip that beats them all is Next Legacy CA on Oil Rig Arms Race, currently using the Ultimax 100. He's on the double kill, he needs one more to go and pick up the multi, goes and gets it, swaps it at MK48 Mod O, spraying around, gets the Ultra, gets the Fantastic, he needs just one more to go and swap to a shotgun and get the unbelievable. He does go and get it, but sadly he dies. He respawns right back in with a respawn token, instant respawn token, and picks up an unbelievable and an unbelievable plus two. Bunny hopping and reloading, goes and gets another unbelievable. Now swapping to the M590 first green. He's going to go and get one and go and get another. Picks up the HP pack while he's at it. He needs one more kill to swap to another weapon, and that's the L115A3. Picks up a quick scope, sadly dies, but respawns right back into it. Gets another a kill. He dies again, but respawns right back into it. Needs one more kill to go into a pistol, and the G18 Cobra is a gun he is assigned. Spraying away, picks up another. The unbelievable spree is absolutely insane. He's only on 6 HP, but he's trying to go and make it work. He connects a few bullets, but he needs just one, one more, but he can't go and get the final knife swipe to pick up another unbelievable. But overall, that was an unbelievable plus 12 streak. I know a lot of people are very iffy about the whole instant respawn thing, and I'm going to leave that up to you guys. You can say in the comment section below if you think that instant respawn clips should be, you know, allowed in the top five plays or not. But I include it for this just to try to go and test the waters a little bit. But saying that, please go and send in some clips because it, it's been a month since the last top five plays episode simply because there was a lack of, you know, decent clips for me to go and put in. But saying that, if you have anything, go and submit it. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under.